Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Lantern Forge. So it's been quite a while since we were here last. It's been a few weeks now. Last week I was out all week, so that really pushed things back. I wanted to get back to Lantern Forge then, but you know, being away for a week causes some delays. So we are back now though. We're going to try to shake the rust off a bit. I've been kind of running around looking at some things and um, trying to familiarize myself with everything again. It feels a little alien to me. I also look back through some of your guys' tips and everything, so I'm going to try and remember some of those things. For example, holding shift uh, to prevent myself from moving while attacking, things like that. So anyway, uh, last time we were here I talked about putting some walls up and kind of rearranging some things here, as well as digging further down. So, and maybe even doing both of those <laughs> in uh, today's episode. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to start by going down below. I do have a number of torches here. You guys had said, hey, grab some torches and light things up. So I actually have done that. I lit the first floor up. So we'll go down to that floor, throw some stairs in, and I will be right back to you when we get down to the next floor because we haven't gone any further than that yet. So let's do it. Okay, well here we are on the second level down and it just dropped us right out into the open, so I am a little concerned. <laughs> let's uh, let's walk around a bit here and kind of light this place up. See what's going on down here. Now another thing that uh, you guys had mentioned was that I needed to skill up. So I've actually gone ahead and done that. Um, well, I grabbed the uh, firebolt here, so if I switch to combat you'll see I've got that. But additionally, over here, you can see I spent, I had 30, like 31 points. So I spread it pretty evenly around here, um, at least in these three guys. I brought them all up to 20. And then I had a remaining point that I threw into strength. I think we're going to kind of stick to intellect with this guy. We're going to go kind of with a magic focus. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things progress here. We may find some really cool uh, item or something that I decide, you know what? I've got a sword, so a really cool sword, so... We're going to use this thing. <laughs> Let's see, is this just going to end, end on me here? Yeah, that's okay. Got all kinds of torches, too. Made, uh, I think I made a little over 100, but I filled in that first level just to kind of light that up a bit. And it looks like we're going to run into trouble over here. Let's uh, switch to combat mode, switch to my staff. Let's see how this goes. You going to come my way? Look at that fire. Take that. Okay, let's go ahead and just start shooting this guy a bit. We're going to run out of mana now. <laughs> I don't have a good way to get that back. I don't recall if you if there ends up being any kind of um, mana. Let's see. Aim. Get over there. Hit him. <laughs> we can use the freebie shot here. You going to step out from there? Can't quite get him. Pew! Pew! <laughs> Down he goes. Cool, so we'll pick up that stuff. Let's see. Life is not too bad. I'm actually going to... Uh, or life is fine. The uh, food is a little low. You know what? I should have grabbed more before we came down here. Typical weem. Just not thinking ahead. So let's try this again. What I want to do is get some shots in on this place. Looks like it's actually just about gone. There we go. Take that. Oh, that doesn't quite reach him. Yeah, get down here. The fire does some good damage. Look at that. Very cool. That will take all of your things. Oops, missed him there. Oop. Pew! <laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, get a torch in here. Kind of spread out. So I, I really wanted to just kind of come down here, explore a bit, light the place up, and kind of, you know, get to killing some things because there, there can be some really good loot in here and... Uh, and I definitely, with my skills ramped up and everything, I knew that I was going to be doing a bit better than I was last time. Okay. So I thought we would go hunting for treasure. <laughs> Looks like I've got somebody trying to follow me down here. Where'd you go? Uh, whoops. Let's get out of here. Snap. 
Okay, cool. I'm going to actually take a peek here really quick. Now, one of you also, I'm sorry, I forget who it was. Somebody had mentioned that I could sell the paintings, um, and I only had the one painting, so I did sell that off for 200 so thanks for that tip. And I will certainly be looking out for more of those because that's that's pretty nice. Very nice, actually. 200 So that's the other thing I'm kind of hoping for here is that we can find some area that's got, um, I could pop a hole through here. Uh, find an area like a dungeon and uh, find some paintings that we can scoop. We'll be painting thieves. <laughs> Take those up and get some money for those. In the meantime, let's do some exploring. It looks like that's kind of the extent of this. Do we do have... That's not really a path. Nope. And I think we had checked out the bottom portion. It looks like we can go over here, though. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Hello. Let's see here. Switch to the staff. Zap. You are toast. Oh, what are you here? Herp. Where'd you go? <laughs> we'll use the little uh, little green shot on them. Okay, I really should be putting torches down here, kind of getting in that habit light my path up well our exploring paid off in the form of finding some copper so we're gonna go ahead and clear this stuff out here I really took down a good number of creatures down here in fact during all of that I found some copper pants so that was cool we've got a bit more armor going on now it's always good but otherwise I've pretty much explored the entire second floor here as far as paths that are available to be explored so we could dig around a bit and try to kind of spread around in here but I think at this point the idea is that I want to start gathering up some iron finding some iron and it sounds like from what a few of you have mentioned we need to go deeper which is pretty standard for these kind of games got to go much deeper underground for that so I think that's what we'll do we've got you can see my inventory in the bottom right we've got uh, two more sets of stairs, so we'll do, you know, we'll create at least those two and keep going down. So let's cruise over here. Let's see, we gotta find, what are you doing here? I had this place cleared out, you don't belong. Hit him. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't quite recall where we came in at. I suppose I could just drop stairs anywhere. After all, the ones that got me down here just fell right into the middle of a room so actually you know what now we, we do want them by the uh, by the stairs we came in at so that they're all next to each other that's true let's see this was the dead end ish nope here's our stairs oh hello out of range how dare you okay fireball nice and that'll do it Fur and meat. That's what we're getting quite a bit of. We did get some silk, killed a spider. Looks like we got a carrot seed as well. Did not notice that. Some cotton, so not too bad. But, of course, on this level, we haven't really found anything else. But, like I said, we'll go ahead and drop some stairs here. Now, these stairs are to the right of the ones above. So, I think we're going to kind of continue that pattern. We'll hit, uh, let's see. Let me come out of this mode. And hit zero right click oh this happened before alrighty I'll bring it back down here okay we're gonna try that again I think what we'll do is actually separate this by more than one to try and avoid some of the accidental clicking here so zero and then we can right click which here happened to right click the uh, stairs and went up a level so that's what we were going for right there we'll kinda gather that dirt and uh, should do it. We'll head to the level below and see what we can find. Well, this put us right into the uh, <laughs> right into a dungeon here. So I'm not I haven't moved yet. We haven't faced anything. So I'm gonna go combat mode, and I guess we'll just start shooting this thing and try to just take it out really quick. There we go. This is gonna just jump right into the action, which is cool. I'm cool with that. Okay, let's place this guy here and there. Ooh, look at that painting. <laughs> Excellent. Let's walk over here. Let's see. Three, sure. Take the stone. 
Come on. All right, we'll take this guy. There we go. I'm not seeing any others here, so let's prep for combat. <laughs> Another painting, excellent. Let's see. Go, bust it. Bust it down. A medium painting. I think the other one was a large, which was good. You guys were saying those were worth a lot, right? Let's see, we have 300 on the medium. 300 on, oh, so they're both. Both 300. Maybe because this one has the stand and everything. It comes with a stand. It's worth more. <laughs> it's cool. I get it. Let's see. Uh, do one here. That's not what I meant to do. So we've got a uh, chest in here, which is really cool. We have an armor stand. We're going to mouse around here and just kind of look. It's an enclosed room. Rubble. Might not actually be any mob in there. That would be cool. Let's just step in here. Put that there. Put this guy here. Excellent. I like it. I like it. Okay, we scooped up a bunch of stuff. Potato seeds, that's actually kind of cool. And I couldn't really tell what else. Looks like it mixed with probably a number of other things that we had. Nothing, uh, nothing special though. That's cool. We already had a copper lantern, so... Forward. Let's see. Nope. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. <laughs> Seeing these guys in here, I thought, oh no, we gotta go back. We must gather. Let's see what we get here. Huh. Check that out. We get some boots. Thought, yes, here it is. Okay, so we've got a couple more things and we've got some doors to go through. I think we're going to keep going. There's a lot of space in here, so let's keep moving forward, seeing what we can find. Looks like we got some stone blocks and I think a copper in that. That's cool. Okay, combat mode. We got a rat right here just looking for trouble. Come on. Open the door. There you go. Come right down in here. Yes. That fireball does some great damage. I have to imagine that it has something to do with my uh, with my intellect being ramped up as well. So that's cool. Okay. We're going to grab some food. I think we might actually have to head topside. I could eat this meat, but I'd rather cook it. We have quite a bit of it. It'd be nice to cook that. So we may have to actually uh, head back a bit and uh, grab some food. But before we go anywhere, we're going to grab this chest. And I think we will take a peek at least in this room and see what's here we got some barrels otherwise it looks like we're actually pretty empty so I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this room let's go ahead and check this guy really quick okay looks like I picked up a uh, I don't think I had that sword with me before there oh yeah cuz I had this guy it's a weaker sword that's no fun <laughs> Okay, so we're going to switch to this guy. Uh, should be using that. I oh, you know what? Oh, that worked. <laughs> I was just about to tell you guys. You know what? I shouldn't be busting that wall down. That rack can come right through here, but then the tapestry fell down. Okay, cool. So we kind of gathered up some good stuff here. I think we got good loot. We just now, with that last bit, filled up the inventory. So this is a good time to head back upstairs. Uh, empty all this loot, probably sell off those paintings, and uh, cook some food. I think that would be a good way to go. Okay, so very successful run. Let's actually head up here really quick and get rid of the uh, we'll get rid of the paintings. What was this guy worth? One hundred. Can I control click these? I don't quite remember. No. Three hundred on that guy. Three hundred on that guy. Twenty one hundred copper. Nice. Uh, let's see. I've got... Uh, are these the same? The, it looks like the one I have right now is a level 3. This is a level 1. Otherwise, I don't see a difference. Anyway, I think we'll go ahead and sell this one. It looks like the one I'm carrying is better, at least in value. <laughs> so we'll just keep that. Uh, let's see. I actually do want to get this stuff planted. I don't think I'm going to sell anything else here. So let's go ahead and get this stuff going. I had carrots in here. I took them all up. Let's go ahead and plant that. 
We'll plant the potato. Cool. And we do have these boots here. Let's check this out. So eight armor. It's a little less than what we've got now, but it does add to decks. Huh. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we'll kind of stick with what we have, but I think I will hold on to it. Now our, ch our chest here, the log chest, is getting pretty full. So we're going to have to make some more containers, which is not that big of a deal. Not a big deal at all. In fact, we could make a copper chest, but let's hold off on that for now. Um, the sword is, let's see, yeah, that's right. It's weaker than the one I'm currently holding, but I think we'll throw it in here for now. Since we have room, we can always sell it later. And let's see, I think we're going to control click the rest of the stuff. You, you, get rid of that, get rid of you. Okay, I do like to keep some stone bricks on me so I can kind of block off passages if need be while we're down there. Um, let's see, I did throw the stone oven in before we got started as well. So let's check this out. Oh, I thought I could uh, do a uh, cooked... Oh, maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. I think these are used in kebabs. That's probably what I'm probably what I'm thinking of. Yes, and we do have sticks. Excellent. 20 food. Let's just burn through all of these. It's only going to make what five or something. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to do that and then we are going to let's see. Let's see. Do I have That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I don't mean to shoot my chest here. Um, we got this meat. It's crafting, let's see, we've got these guys too. I can't do a lot with the apples. In fact, for some reason I thought you could do like roasted apples, but that's actually not available anymore. And it might have been like the game is updated, so they may have got rid of that, but I thought you could roast the apples. I could be wrong, I guess. But um, the only option now with the apples looks to be uh, apple pie which requires some other things that we don't have. So I think I will just scoop these and take these along for the ride. That's fine. Let's see. Okay, I'm just kind of skimming the other stuff that we have here. Definitely going to need to make some more room, or some more uh, storage room, I should say. And before we get to doing that, I think what we want to do is focus on kind of expanding the area here. I think I actually have some... Do I already have some walls in here? Yeah, I just have four. We talked before about um, being able to make the uh, castle walls, the stone walls, but you know, we really haven't had an issue. We we're able to sleep and kind of pass the night and it's not like we're getting attacked here or anything yet. <laughs> so I don't, maybe I don't need to go overboard with the castle walls, but um, let's, let's, uh, let's see here. We do have stone fences we could do. Those require the bricks, which we can put together. Um, Let's see, trying to skim here. What did the castle wall take? It did only take two of those. I could make like 40 something of those. Huh. Interesting. We could also fence off some area. Hmm. So much we could do. And then we have the log walls, of course. Which I've got 16 here, so I could make eight. And I've got eight in there. Okay, so we can make like 12. I could go on a big rampage cutting down trees and everything and try to start gathering that up to make more log walls. I would I would like to extend this area, but I think what might be a better idea is just to fence it in. Just kind of go light for now. Let me grab some food since that's flashing away. But uh, yeah, I thought I would go really crazy with the castle walls and everything. It might be that maybe I do a castle walled area that's kind of like, that's where I sleep and everything. And then I just keep this as is. Uh, I could even kind of throw storage in here and move these guys outside or something. So anyway, that's all part of kind of a rearrangement scheme I'll, I'll think a bit more about. Um, but while I'm looking at this, I keep wanting to left click which shoots. Let's check this out really quick. We're going to go ahead and make all of these guys, get rid of that copper ore here. And just throw that in. So what do we have? We have 14 copper there. Okay. Let's put that back. The dirt. Hmm. I think we'll put these individual blocks back. Because I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back down below and continue exploring that dungeon. So... Let's just kind of get rid of the stuff we don't really plan on using right now. So we have more room for loot. <laughs> more room for treasure. 
Uh, let's see, the pick is doing okay. We got a shovel, that's okay. I'm kind of looking for path of re li uh, burp, burp, if I can speak. <laughs> We're looking for the path of least resistance underground. I'm just kind of wanting to move room to room and explore and not have to really dig my way to anything. So we'll explore a bit more down there and if we run out of stuff, we've got the uh, stairs so we can go another level down. Um, right now what I want to do is get some more food going on here. Um, let's see. I think you can do stuff with the wheat, right? No, don't shoot the oven. <laughs> okay, so this can make the flour and then we can make the bread of this. Let's go ahead and crank a bunch of this out. And by a bunch, I guess I mean three. <laughs> Clear this. Put this in here. Because the bread is pretty decent. Yeah, it's 20. And we can't make a lot of that, but three is cool. We're going to take that with us. So right now we're full... We've got plenty of food to last us for a bit, so I think we're pretty well set. Um, let's see, TDR to that, right click, control, throw that in, and I think we are good to go. Let's go ahead and head all the way back down there and pick up where we left off. Alrighty, we are back where we left off, where we found the chest and some other things here. Now, I did just see a spider kind of run by up here, so I'm kind of tempted to walk up here and and handle that. <laughs> Let's see, whoops. I keep <laughs> opening and closing. Look, they're confused. They're like, what is he doing? Zap, zap, zap. Go down. Whoops, we're out of mana. <laughs> Let's create some space here. There we go. Cool. Okay. Let's take a peek at our inventory here. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking I didn't get anything off of those spiders. That was odd. Quite strange. I'm finding it weird kind of switching between the combat mode and not. Like when I'm in combat mode, it's not letting me um, place the torches when I am when I have them selected. So I have to switch back and forth. And so it's kind of like, you know, spacebar switches the mode. So I'm, I'm in this mode. And when I want to switch, I have to hit spacebar 4 so that I can place torches. Um, that spacebar. There we go. <laughs> and then spacebar 1 to switch back. And uh, I'm using the W, basically, the w, when you hold W, it's going to walk wherever your mouse is. Now, I don't know if that's a new thing in the update that just happened, or if that's just not a control I was aware of. So I've been debating, like, do I want to hold and click like I am here, you know, hold to walk, or do I want to use the W? So I keep kind of switching back and forth between them, which is not good. <laughs> I should really pick one. But uh, let's see, we are in combat mode. We do have our staff selected. Let's go ahead and open the door and start gunning on this thing. Look at that cube. How cool is that? A blockhead? Awesome. All right, we're going to try to... Oh, oh boy. It's a little messy in here. Can you run through the door? Dang it. Zap, zap, zap. Go, go, go. <laughs> All right, where'd that blockhead go? One shot to you. There we go. Uncut ruby. Check that out. How cool is that? Okay, we have an armor stand. Let's see, spacebar four. And right click to put these guys down. Let's bust this guy up. More boots. <laughs> Let's see, these are, oh, look at these. These are the same armor, but we get the uh, added bonus. Let me see here. We have an added bonus to strength, but it's weird because the sell price is lower on this one even though it looks better huh how strange well we're gonna go ahead and switch to these because they appear to be better to me <laughs> and the pants look to be better too look at that the value is low though look at that the ones on the left worn and the armor's the same I guess it is minus durability on this guy huh Plus strength. I'm not really using strength. I think so. We're not going to worry about that. We'll probably sell these off. Okay, cool. Let's kind of cruise down here. There's no opening into this room, but there is copper. I think what we'll have to do is clear all this copper out, jump in there, and kill these guys off. Sounds like a plan to me. I'll just get in here and get this done. This will give us a chance to kind of get a peek inside here, too. You know, I'm curious. Can I... I can actually 
Oh, okay, it won't let you. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I was like, can I just put a torch in there? That'd be awesome, but yeah, I like that they don't like that they don't allow that kind of thing to happen. That's cool. Okay.